Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to another 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 11. Today is day number 30. Yes, it is a 30 day challenge, but this month has 31 days, so we're going to do an extra one. Plus, this is my Counterfeit Kit Challenge Series Day number 6. So I'm using my Counterfeit Kit Challenge that I put to, or my Counterfeit Kit that I put together for March 2023. And all of these papers are from that. The scraps, the papers, everything is from that. Uh, I did pull in a few things from my other collection of supplies that I've been using, uh, and those are very minimal. Um, so here you can see I have a ton of little scraps back behind here, some larger scraps that I'm going to use to mount the photo, and then I have three sheets of paper that were in the kit that I built uh, as my background pieces. Here I have pulled in these ephemera bits. There's flowers, there's birds, there's even little hedgehogs in here. There's some labels. There's any number of things in here to pull from. And oh, I forgot to tell you, the sketch is a one photo sketch. It looks like maybe a four by six, but I'm gonna use this five by seven photo. It's got a circle element in the middle and then lots of scrap papers. And then it's got some floral clusters on either side. And so that's why I'm pulling in the florals again. Anywho, the sketch today is by Julie Moreau, um, and it's a lovely sketch. I do love this one. Anywho, so let me show you. I pulled in this additional paper from the Simple Life collection. That's the back side of it, but I'm pulling it in for this embellishment here, and I have thoughts of fussy cutting that. Some of that might be just a wee bit intricate to fussy cut, but I think I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see. Uh, I did pull in this set of stickers for part of my title, and I pulled in this set of stickers, or chipboards, this set of stickers, mostly for the two flying bugs there. Uh, I pulled in these alphabets to do my journaling with. I hope I have enough here, but I know I have some more in my letter tile bin. I pulled in a couple of different labels. I pulled in this tiny little, um, or this one single washi strip page. I pulled in some chipboard pieces that were left over, and I pulled in some enamel dots. Now, I, I told you I brought in some supplies from my last uh, collection of kits uh, that I've been using this month. And all I brought in were the flowers. In case I don't have exactly what I need, I pulled in some flowers to hopefully make that work. And if I can use some more of these, hey, better for me, right? And then the other thing that I pulled in from that kit were all of the leaf bits and pieces. Because there is quite a few flowers and I don't have a lot of, this is more of a fall collection, um, and I don't really have a ton of green leafy bits in here. So then I pulled in this set. Um, and there's any number of things in here that I uh, punched out with my, or die cut with, my dyes out of just my green color scraps. So I'm sure I will find something in here that will work if I need it. And then finally, the other thing that I'm pulling in because I'm doing a circle is uh, this again, uh, my circle die. It's like a Caloozle, but only larger, but not a 12 by 12 size. Like I have a 12 by 12 size and that's not it. It's a smaller one. So I think I'm going to use that to cut my circle out of the floral paper or maybe out of the brick paper. I don't know yet. We'll see as I get going. But anywho, this is where I'm starting, guys. Uh, give me a second. I'll show you a close-up of the sketch, and then I will be back to show you what I have created. Okay, friends, I am done with layout number 20, or sorry, layout number 30. What I did not use was this pocket page card that I cut out um, here, and then these green leaves. I didn't use any of those. What I did use was a ton of scraps. You can see here, this is, these are the scraps of the scraps, right? Uh, these are cutoffs, uh, the branding strip, and then the bits of the background paper. This is that very last paper, the bottom paper. That everything rests on I couldn't resist cutting out a portion of this black not only for the black but for the bird houses how cute are those oh my gosh those are precious y'all anywho here is uh, the floral paper that I cut into and that's the back side which it's not gonna be used if I did this I could do like a bumblebee layout you know what I mean <laughs> Anywho, that's where I cut that cut apart off from. 
I did use uh, three of these flowers, these paper flowers from Close to My Heart, and I used several embellishments from out of here, which is fantastic. I love that I've been able to just keep plugging along. There's nothing in here right now that I wouldn't keep um, and just continue to add to kits at some point in the future until it all gets used up. I did use a label from each of these sheets. I did use several pieces of chipboard from here. I used a uh, washi strip from here. I did use my get my title from here. It says family. And then I also used a piece of chipboard from here, uh, here, and here. Uh, I did use the finishing touches. I have oh enamel dots. I have more enamel dots, and I have these puffy dots. I did use this uh, font to do my journaling, which was just my grandkids' names. And then I did use a couple more stickers from this sticker sheet, so I'm just plugging away slowly at it. And here is the layout that I created. Okay, you can see I followed along nearly exactly like the sketch, y'all, and I love, this is my favorite layout for the entire month. I love this design. I love the papers that I chose. I love how this came out. So you can see I used one, two, three full sheets of paper. There's my washi strip down here that I put on a, a scrap piece of paper and then fussy cut, uh, or sorry, tore the ends. Uh, put my title right here, family. Here's one of those paper flowers here, here, and here. Here's chipboard here, here. Both of these are chipboard and then three pieces of chipboard up here. There's a label poking out from here, a couple enamel hearts. There's the bug butterfly and the bug bumblebee. Here are the little die cut uh, floral embellishments here with some uh, enamel dots. And then over here, these two here are uh, from the die cut floral flowers. Um, yeah, you can see the scraps of paper that I used behind, and some of those are two separate pieces so that they would span the distance. Uh, I put the kids' names down here at the bottom of the page as well as their location, another piece of chipboard, another label, and then another little heart here, uh, enamel heart. So yeah, I will show you close-ups of the layout at the end of the video of the clusters. If you're interested in seeing those, stick around. Um, if you have used that simply, the Simple Life Collection from Echo Park, let me know. I would love to go see. If you have some layouts posted somewhere, I would love to go see those. Uh, I just, I have continue to find ways to use that paper that has just been astounding. And I love that I added this brick wall in because there's two different walls here in the photo and then this one makes a third wall. So it brings it all together. There's three kids, there's three clusters, yada yada. You get it. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway guys, uh, I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.